We're so excited to have you here this evening, and at this time, I want to welcome to the platform a good friend of mine, Rabbi Daniel Lappin. Could you give him a big hand as he comes here? Well, you've all been standing long enough, so please take your seats. A little over 3,000 years ago, the Israelites crossed a sea to arrive in a wild and untamed land, carrying with them nothing but one idea that created a culture and forged a nation. Over 300 years ago, America's founders crossed an ocean and found a wild and untamed land, and they came with nothing but their Bibles and the very same idea. And the idea was that far more important than anything else, far more important than whatever we may think about God, was the central idea that what really matters is what God says to us. These two nations, Israel and America, marched side by side through history with stunning similarities bonding them. Both crossed an ocean to achieve freedom. Both were called separatists. The early Americans, the colonists who came over, came over and were known as separatists because they stood for ideas separate and distinct from those they left behind in Europe. And of course, the Jews were known by their classical biblical name, Ivri. Ivri translated as Hebrew, but meaning separatist. Somebody willing to stand distinct and separate from the mainstream of everybody else. And these two nations arrived in their promised land, seeking a new and special place to build a relationship with God. And early in their histories, both suffered bloody civil wars in Israel, the north and the south, and in America, the north and the south. And in both cases, it was a civil war over a deeply moral issue. Would you believe it? Both nations, the only time in history both nations emerge from their civil war stronger than they were before. Both nations, the only nations on earth that accept newcomers. Have you ever tried to become a Frenchman or a Swiss or become a Japanese? No, but you can become an American. And yes, and you can become a Jew. It's a case, it's not a matter of birth, it's a matter of accepting a set of ideas. That's how you become an American, and that's how you become a Jew. These two nations, working side by side, building culture and civilization, in a world that is often gone mad. America and Israel, a brotherhood of destiny, two nations sharing so much of history, sharing so much of the future, marching forward together, regardless of what anyone else thinks. The descendants the descendants of those who crossed the ocean to build America, those who crossed the Atlantic Ocean clutching their Bibles and clinging to the idea of God, you ladies and gentlemen are their natural heirs and descendants. And those Israelites who crossed the ocean, walked through the desert for 40 years, and arrived in the land of Israel clutching the Torah which had been given to them on Mount Sinai 40 years before, you ladies and gentlemen are their heirs and their natural descendants too. (laughs) 
May the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless all the Jews and all the Christians working hand in hand together. The brave pastors you're going to hear from this evening who defy convention and are willing to be separatists. God bless them. And God bless you, ladies and gentlemen, every one of you. May he ensure that his blessings and the wisdom of his Torah guide America and guide Israel to strength, prosperity, and peace. Adonai, every knee will bow to you, Lord Most High. Adonai, Adonai, you alone are God. Every tongue will cry, Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Every knee will bow to you, Lord Most High. Adonai, Adonai, you alone are God. Every tongue. We'll cry out of night. You are Lord over all the earth. You are Lord over all the earth. Come on and declare it tonight. You are Lord over all the earth. You are Lord over all the earth. Tonight we have a chance to do a great, one of the greatest acts of kindness we can do. We can partner with Joel. We can partner with our Jewish brothers and sisters. We can partner with Israel. We can partner with the people in Ethiopia that are saying we are the fulfillment of prophecy. Let us come back to Israel. Tonight we, we can come do to that. say to the Jewish people tonight that you are the apples of God's eye that you are a cherished people, that you are a chosen people, that you are a covenant people, and that covenant has never been broken, and it is very much held dear in the eyes of God. You are Lord, you are Lord over all the earth. You are Lord over all the earth. The God of Abraham, come on, he is Lord. You are Lord over all the earth. You are Lord over all the earth. Adonai, Adonai, every knee will bow to you, Lord Most High. Adonai, Adonai, you alone are God. Every tongue will cry.